gifts, passions. But when we get to the financial part, God gives us these 10 dimes and asks us to bring one back to God's house. So now take one of your 10 dimes and put it in our leap of faith offering. Exactly. Did you put one in? Okay. So, so now what do you get to do with the nine? It's yours. Put it in your hand. It's yours. These nine dimes are yours. They're what God has given you and entrusted with you to be a good steward. And you might want to save it. You might want to share it. You might want to put a dime away for college or more. But these nine are what you get to live on. These nine dimes are yours. And you know what? In your lifetime, the dimes become dollars. And then the dollars become even bigger dollars. And what God says is your whole life, you just bring me back that one to take care of my house, to take care of my people to take care of the ministry that Jesus gives us. But we get to be the best stewards we can with these other nine. And when we do tithe, is that word, and give that nine or that dollar or even more, whatever that tithe back to God, it helps us to better manage the remaining nine dimes. So that's how God's blessings and economy works. I want you to keep that in mind. Let's pray. The Lord be with you. And also with you. You shower so many dimes in our lives, Lord. Dimes and dollars. There's so many. Help us remember your math and your economy. That we keep bringing that one step back to you as a response of grace, as thankfulness. Watch over each of your blessed children this week. Help them have eyes of gratitude to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the love in their lives from family and especially from Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Thanks for coming up. You get to take those dimes.